Hello, my name is Jung Wook Seo, Director of Seoul National University Medical Library. I'm talking on open access movement in Korea at the International Open Access Week meeting of University of California, Los Angeles. I'd like to give you a, a message that open access has different faces different, dif depending on different viewpoints. One of the points I'd like to em particularly emphasize is the creation of knowledge, particularly from underserved countries. And also, coordination of librarians and editors is very important. At the first part, I'd like to show you growth of amount of information measured by number of articles indexed in Web of Science and PubMed, which is increasing very rapidly from 1970s and later. It's very clear that the computer science computer technology and journal publication technology are uh, the reason why we have this expansion of knowledge in addition to expansion of knowledge itself. Uh, it is very good to have this kind of increase of knowledge information available by internet for uh, these articles, but there are some behind the uh, adverse effect of this I I expansion. One of the one of the problem is the rapid increase of uh, library expenditure due to the serial expenditure increase compared to the monograph expenditure increase and increase of uh, total or salary increase. It is understandable that because we have more articles produced we need to pay more money to uh, those knowledge information. It looks true, but it is not true in, in many different reasons, which can, uh, will be discussed, uh, is discussed already, I hope, in, the, in this conference. And also, the more important issues is that the increase of amount of knowledge um, have many problem on accessibility of information, particularly from less of the country. But the, in my view, the more, more, much more important problem is production divide. Most of the uh, knowledge information are produced by rich countries, United States, United Kingdom, and uh, Germany, and the, these, these colored countries are producing most of the articles journal articles, and these other countries are just uh, reading those articles. But this is a real problem. Uh, the articles from poor countries may be of poor quality at the production, but the value is not that poor in the, uh, for, for, uh, and also uh, when peer reviewing, there is a possibility of discrimination of manuscripts from poor countries or poor English, and also the articles from articles and knowledge from underserved countries are undervalued, particularly from those from Asia. In fact, is real very important value uh, now and in the future, but they are not uh, enough. Uh, contributed to the current um, production of knowledge information. And real issue for health, agriculture, and environment is those issues are global issue instead of local issue. So problems in less served country makes a more difficult problem for uh, developed countries so that uh, we need to solve this issue all uh, together to uh, consider as a global issue rather than local issue. The production of knowledge is increasing in the United States. It has been 1.3 times during 15 years, but the, the Chinese production is 11 times during the same period. And if you think about the percentage of contribution of, of articles 
in 15 years ago, United States is one third of world literature, but it's now uh, decreased on, uh, to level of 30%. And, but Chinese production is 1.4% 15 years ago. It is almost 10% now. It will increase in more and more. This trend is also the same in India and Korea and Brazil, and also the contribution of a pattern is the, in the same shape. Other countries like Taiwan, Turkey, and <coughs> Iran, and Malaysia, this country has a rapid increase of uh, knowledge production, and it will be, become more and more, and I, I, I'm sure the current level of production is less than the real value of knowledge in information of these countries, which I ha have already discussed the reason. So, World Health Organization has designed a new system of delivering of uh, knowledge. Uh, the first, of, first part of delivery should be indexing those articles. Currently, the medical field, PubMed, is the global, the index, uh, most important medical index. But we need to make a regional index medical so that we can aggregate those information from each region. And this type of approach can be uh, make a, a value for people living in Western Pacific region. They can search for regional index. And, al and, and also PubMed index so that we can uh, see the advanced technological development and also re uh, regional issue in this, in this country and also look, look at the other region, regional uh, issues through these different uh, uh, regional indices. So uh, uh, I participated in this project in uh, 2005 and, uh, and we started that production and uh, in 2007 I could summarize the issue three goals of our program that uh, we need to aggregate of regional research information individual information can be more easily accessed and easily used when we have aggregated portal and also by aggregation we uh, we also need to work hard to upgrade the quality of information and also um, this can be uh, this is very important to uh, aware about the value of an, our knowledge resources and use them these all together are very closely related that we need to we can upgrade our information when we use it and when we aggregate our information Korea Med is a production of a Korean Association Medical Journal editor, which I understand is the world success, uh, world world successful uh, knowledge server, uh, not only for Korean people but also uh, in the world world uh, world population. Uh, currently, we have 156 Korean journals indexed, and it has one. 154,000 articles with abstracts, and it is a very good portal to have an access to Korean knowledge information from the world, and also it's a portal for Korean people to going abroad. Uh, and <coughs> and then we've got the, this idea to expand the Western Pacific Regional Indices uh, Index Medicals. So it is an equivalent, Korea Med and Wiprim are uh, very compatible with uh, PubMed and also it aggregates uh, uh, national indices uh, from China and Japan, Philippines and Vietnam. Uh, each country has national indices but now we have uh, uh, aggregated regional index medicals in, and this is the cu current shape. Uh, at the moment, in uh, we have 224 Chinese uh, journals, 
which is in fact one tenth of uh, current Chinese medical journals. And Korea has 179 journals, which is almost 80% uh, of Korean journals. The other countries also contributing their journals to this database, and the number of uh, journals are increasing, particularly from uh, Japan and other developed country uh, con uh, will, I hope, will contribute more journals to this regional database. Uh, and currently, we have 220,000 uh, articles from China and 160,000 articles from Korea. And this, this will grow and grow in, uh, because the, I think it's uh, currently we have already enough uh, 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 aggregate critical mass and it will grow uh, and grow. Um, after we have produced this knowledge uh, aggregating indexing portal, and then we, we sh should think about the uh, full text portal to supply high quality uh, full text articles in XML format. And also publication models and repository and policies are to be discussed. Korea Medicine Apps is the current the full XML based full text portal which is very useful to every everybody in the world. So it has 120 titles with cross-check deposit, cross-ref de depo cross-ref deposited, and and PMC is al uh, uh, also m many of 60 articles titles uh, PMC deposited, and so on. And in the same way, we are we are producing Asia Pacific Medical uh, XML-based full-text article portal. Uh, in the in the name is the Apamed Central. So uh, we have currently uh, ten journals in this Apamed Central, but we are uh, <coughs> working hard to aggregate more than one hundred journals in by the end of the next year. So and we have uh, we have Korean open access mandate by Korean government uh, and this it is already decided on health research papers and it will be active next year and also the open access mandate on other research domains and science and technology and other part of uh, science and will be is is now on the discussion by Korea Research Foundation and finally, I'd like to emphasize the coordination and activities of librarians and editors. So we have Open Access Korea uh, Group and Creative Commons Korea Group and Korean Association of Medical Journal Editors and Asia Pacific Association of Medical Journal Editors, which covers the, the medical part, but also, uh, but uh, which part is uh, uh, more active than other other part of other domain of science and as a li library activity Seoul National University Medical Library and uh, Seoul National University Central Library uh, has a strong initiative to develop open access activity including um, institutional repository this is a sh uh, picture taken at open access Korea meetings and we are uh, this this is in, uh, uh, this is uh, led by Korean Institute of Science Te and Technology Information, which is governmental institute of Korea, to facilitate uh, information exchange and production and uh, use. And these people uh, in in the in the list are leaders of those activity. So, uh, if you want to uh, work. Uh, get more information you can ask these four people for governmental policy and uh, and basic principle and the uh, professor Jung Jung Hee is the <coughs> um, 
professor of library information science and miss miss kim porami is a lawyer and and yun chol han is the the ngo people working uh, helping us and this kang yeon suk is the the leader of korea uh, creative commons korea and open access korea portal has the uh, is the is the repository and and also it has the connection to kwasa which is uh, institution repository of, of kaist uh, so korean advanced Inst institute of science and technology and also s space which is seoul national university institutional repository and there are many other uh, uh, institutional repository of Aji University and Ina University and so on. And this is a shape of uh, uh, Creative Commons Korea conference in 2008 where you know, the, the world, world experts, uh, experts are presenting the, and giving us the lectures. And this is the uh, type of uh, options w we can choose those for uh, information for general public, educational information, professional information, highly professional information can have different uh, policy on accessibility and, and that, it, that, that can be um, <coughs> useful. And coordination of uh, editors on the Asia Pacific Medical Journal editors have uh, uh, inaugural meeting in 2008 and the national delegates uh, are presenting their uh, activities. This is a website of World Health Organization, Western Pacific Region for Asia Pacific Association of Medical Journal Editors. And this is launching ceremony of Western Pacific Region Index Medical State China, Professor Tai Tao, and, and he is currently the leader of the, that institute. And here, the Charles Rabi and people from China and Professor Li Chinshil are, are giving, having a WIPRIM database training workshop in China. So it's very uh, lively and, and uh, efficient and uh, mutually helpful uh, workshop for those librarians working uh, produce production of database. And the, this year in Kuala Lumpur, we have a Asia Pacific Association Medical Journal Edit Editors Meeting. Professor Kitamura is the current president of uh, APAME, and John Arokiasami is the past pre immediate past president, and Professor Ham is the past pre president before him. And we have uh, yeah, Asian uh, countries, including uh, the Southeast Asian region uh, and Western Pacific, Pacific region. So we will uh, wo uh, work together to uh, upgrade our journals and also upgrade the uh, production and upgrade the use and value of our uh, knowledge information. And in this particular meeting, we have a poster session presenting each country's activity on journal publication and editor's activity uh, and uh, uh, absolutely this will be very useful for uh, those uh, open access move activities and as a librarian uh, uh, we we are in my library is the korea medulla center library and we we have uh, uh, the medulla center user seminar which usually we have an uh, World Book and Copyright Day, which is April 23 by UNESCO. So we have different topics, and one, one of them is one of the common topics is of open access. And also, the, the in this chart shows the different libraries uh, purchase a different amount of journals, but also uh, di uses different amount of free journals, which are open access journals. So. I'm emphasizing that the open access can be used freely if they want, but it's better, much better and better if librarian 
make uh, the aggregated system to get easy access uh, and mixed uh, use of uh, a purchased uh, article and free articles together so that the, the users can give more value and more use for free articles. The conclusion of my talk is that uh, the my personal view on open access is the uh, start with explosion, expansion of amount of scholarly information. And open access is not only accessibility of already produced information, but also uh, creation of a new knowledge from particularly those uh, less produced countries. And th this, this will uh, facilitate the value of open, open access. And when we produce open access articles, we, we, it should be high quality and the different models of publication and repository and are, should be think about and government policy is very important and useful and finally the librarians and editors has a very strong uh, and unique role unique value to this activity thank you